Okay, so maybe you're just coming over from that last video, which was uh, coterminal angles in degrees. Um, if not, let's just go over this really quickly. There's something really important about uh, angles when we're talking about this is when we're talking about coterminal angles, I want to make sure that you realize that there are s some rules here. And one of the rules is that our angle must be in standard position. So here's, um, here's our angle here. in standard position and let me make this angle this angle right here if you don't mind and I'm telling you that this is theta and I'm telling you that theta equals 45 degrees that's terrible I didn't switch that out sorry and I'm asking you for angles coterminal to to pi force so here we have pi force and I'm telling you that theta the angle that we're interested in this thing over here is theta theta is equal to pi fourths and I wanted a co-terminal angle and we talked about this before we said okay we have to have this angle in standard position that means that its vertex must be at the origin that its initial ray that's this ray right here has to be on top of the x-axis and our angle is going to open counterclockwise where this right here is the terminal angle uh, I'm sorry the terminal ray so and I'm suggesting to you that I followed all those rules well this is something that hopefully you have starting to figure out in trig is that instead of degrees sometimes we write things in radians and one thing we know about this if this is 90 degrees well this is pi halves well if this is pi halves well pi halves more than that is just pi isn't it and pi halves more than that would be uh, this would be two pi halves this would be wouldn't this be three pi halves would be 270 degrees if we went all the way around 360 degrees is two pi so i'm going to take this off for a second but what i do want to convince you is that you go all the way around the circle from any point you went a, you went two pi so so if I want an angle that's coterminal to pi force, well, I want to start at pi force, right? I'm going to start here at pi force, and I'm going to go around from pi force. I'm going to go all the way around the circle. Now, when we did this in the last video, we added 360 degrees, and we got our new angle. But here, we, we're in radians. So what we want to do is, when we, to find a coterminal angle of, of radians, is we want to add 2 pi. Well, this is 2 pi over 1. That doesn't, doesn't add very well. It doesn't look very good, does it? So in this case, what I would have to do is I would switch this out. Two, another way of writing 2 pi would be to write 8 fourths, wouldn't it? Can we agree that 8 over 4 is 2, and 2 times pi is just pi, but it makes it a hell of a lot easier when I'm adding across here, doesn't it? And pi plus 8 pi is 9 pi. So a coterminal angle would be 9 pi fourths. Uh, if you wanted another one, you could add another 8 pi force to that, couldn't you? And add 8 pi force to that, and you'd get 17 pi force. And just so you know, every time I'm adding this, in in this particular case, I'm at, I decide to add 8 pi force because I'm adding with a denominal value of 4 there. So I'm just trying to move it that way. Let's try, um, let's try maybe a simpler example and see if that makes more sense to you. What if you did this? What if I started here? What if I was like, I want to angle coterminal find an angle an angle coterminal to pi halves and I'm telling you that I believe pi halves is 9 degrees so here's our unit circle here if you don't mind and I'm telling you that it's going to give us this this is our angle if you don't mind Here's the initial ray on top of the x-axis. The vertex is here, and it's at the origin. This thing is going to go straight up. So we have a, an angle in standard position. <coughs> I'm telling you that its angular value in radians is pi halves. So I'm saying here that this is theta, and I'm telling you that theta is, right? I'm telling you that theta is pi halves. And remember, we just, I just said, if you go all the way around the circle from any place, you added 2 pi to it. So here, we're going to start at pi halves. So we're going to have pi halves plus what? Well, plus 2 pi, right?
right? But it's hard to add, right? We have a denominator here of 2 and a denominator here of 1. So I'm going to trade in my 2 pi for exactly 4 pi halves. Look at it. 4 over 2 is 2. So all I did was change the way the fraction looks. I, I put it in equivalent fraction, didn't I? And then we add those. Pi plus 4 pi is, well, 5 pi. So 5 pi fourths. So what I'm trying to convince you is that we could do this all day long, or we could go backwards and get negative coterminal angles. Right? So we could go backwards and get negative coterminal angles by subtracting 2 pi. All right? I hope this is really helpful. Uh, this stuff is, is not real obvious, but once it hits you, it'll be crystal clear. I promise it will. So hang in there. Keep working hard, okay? Love to see your comments.